if you've watched the latest commercial by Gatorade, it might be easy for you to come to the conclusion that we're living in a parody, one that makes Demolition Man and even Idiocracy seem unambitious, where constant untruths are forced down your throat and you are to regurgitate them on cue. Yes, because Gatorade, for those who don't know, like the international audience, is a sports utility drink, and now they're showing... I'm not sure if using the word model makes sense in this context. They're showing grossly overweight women in their commercials doing exercises in order to show their virtue as a corporation. But with these untruths that we're all supposed to state, I think there's something really sort of sinister that's going on. It's not, it's not just ludicrous and ridiculous, it's more than that. You're supposed to agree. You're supposed to say these things yourself. You're supposed to even believe it, or at least pretend that you do. Men can give birth. Say it, you know? Trust the science, but not the scientists who question established dogma of the system. Grossly overweight people? are attractive and even athletic and should be shown on sports drink, commer sports drink commercials. They want you to play along. They insist that you do so. And your initial reaction when you're watching that video might be, what the heck am I watching? Why is this on screen? This is gross. But you're supposed to pretend. You're required to pretend. Say it. Say, Bruce Jenner is a beautiful woman. Say it, you bigot. The age of universal deceit in which we live demands a certain level of compliance, and those who speak the truth face real-world penalty. And this is why I say that there's a sinister element to all of this, because people can and do lose their jobs for things that they post online, on Facebook, on Twitter, in which they insist that men and men and uh, are men and women are women. They insist that you know people who are grossly overweight aren't people who are super attractive. Such things like that. So there is an element here of enforced speech that goes along with this established system, and it's an established system that is basing itself upon the denial of truth, and that's why it's important. And the companies like Gatorade pretend like they're being noble with all of this, like there's a, a righteousness and a sense of virtue in what they're doing. It reminds me a lot of how, remember when Black Lives Matter was big and pretended to be fighting the system? a while every major corporation hung a Black Lives Matter flag on their website, when academia supported Black Lives Matter, Hollywood supported Black Lives Matter, they were all, all these different major institutions that make up our society were aligned in support of Black Lives Matter, and it's like, what system was Black Lives Matter exactly fighting against? Because they were the system. Similarly, Gatorade isn't fighting some great system, they've joined the system against the common man the, the few and rare man, you might say, who's willing to speak the truth. They instead are telling you what you have to lie about. They are the system engaging in a sort of oppression against the people. And I think this is what we see in all the major corporations today, is them pushing forth narratives that are false and that you're required to agree with or at least be silent about. And, and in, in, in your silence, they can infer your agreement as they push this on other people, including, you know, children and people who are more vulnerable to hearing such garbage. It, it's all just so malicious, and I think that people should slow down and realize we're getting these propaganda messages right and left from all over the place, and we're all required to agree to some, po uh, to some elements of it. And when you can look at someone like this, you should be able to say, actually, Really, she's not the best salesperson for a sports drink. She doesn't make me, you know, feel particularly athletic. Maybe she should be more athletic. You know, th these are the truths that we ought to say because we're thinking them. And honesty is one of the things that's really lacking in our current society.